Hello YouTube, Library and Larry here, and today I will be going over a very interesting topic I have been wanting to cover for a while now. Field offices. Before I begin, I want to give a quick shout out to the Toon team, which gave me the idea for this video. So, did you know that the field offices we got in TTO were only half of the update that was actually developed, and only one fourth of the update that was originally planned? When they were first playing field offices, there were supposed to be field offices for all four types of COGS. In the end, only the Cellbot field offices made it into the game. Here is some concept art from the Cashbot field offices, which never made it into production. The original designs seem to be much darker than the field offices were in the end, but from the photo on the top left, we can assume that we would be using the magnets to pick up things and throw them at COGS, much like the gameplay is in the CFO. We also have a very rare screenshot from a boss bot field offices which was cancelled very early on into production. As you can see from this screenshot, Toons would have fired golf balls at COGS, much like in the CEO battle. No other information is known about boss bot field offices since no files have been found from them in the game. Next we have Lawbot Field Offices, which unlike Cashbot and Bossbot Field Offices made it very far into production. In fact, the Lawbot Field Offices were nearly finished inside the game files, they were just never implemented. In the end, the reason why only Cellbot Field Offices made it into the game is the same reason why Toontown most likely closed. Lack of funding. Disney had faith in Disney Infinity, so they cut funding from every other Disney game besides Club Penguin, and rearrange staff into the Disney Infinity project in order to get it off the ground. This means that Toontown lost both money and developers, so as a result they had to cut down on their ideas and only make two out of the four field offices. Now I'm honestly not sure why they didn't complete Lawbot field offices since they were so close to being done. The only guess I can make is that they couldn't actually afford to finish them and they were hoping that new members would join because of the Cellbot field offices and they could use those earnings to finish their Lawbot field offices. Which unfortunately didn't work out that well. Now onto the in-game backstory of field offices. The field offices actually started because of Operation Storm Cellbot HQ. You see some doodles escape from Daisy's gardens and made their way to Cellbot HQ where they chewed on some wires. This resulted in the security systems to go down and Toons had an easier time defeating the VP. After the Toons beat the VP a bunch of times, the Cellbots fixed the security and the Cellbots wanted revenge. This resulted in Cellbot Mega Invasions where the VP promised the type of cog who inflicted the most damage on the Toons a special reward. The Mover and Shakers won by stealing the Toons jokes and as a result the VP rewarded them with field offices. On a side note, one of the doodles that escaped named Sparky was actually found in Lawbot HQ. Nothing else happened, but the reason he was most likely found there is because Lawbot field offices were supposed to come out next. Finally, let's talk about field offices in TTR. Now, field offices are not out yet, but we do have quite a bit of info about them and what they will be like. The TTR team has confirmed that Cellbot, Cashbot, and Bossbot field offices will eventually be added into TTR. It is not known why they didn't confirm Lawbot field offices though. They also said it would be very different than field offices in TTO. They didn't specify how, but in a recent interview, Joey stated his idea would be that field offices can only take over Toon HQ instead of any other Toon building on the street. This way, field offices would be rare and they wouldn't take up room that buildings which are needed for tasks couldn't be taking up. Also, a memo from the chairman was found a while ago. I said that the Mover and Shakers will be awarded field offices because they did the most damage during Doomsday. So that is all the information I have on field offices. It'd be really cool if we could find some more info about Cashbot and Bossbot field offices, but as of now, I do not think that is happening. But either way, I am really excited to see how field offices will turn out in TTR once they eventually added. So please tell me in the comments below what kind of video you think I should make next. Is there any topic you want me to cover the origins of? Again, please tell me in the comments below. Also, please subscribe for some more Toontastic videos coming soon. And I'll see you all next time.